Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Today's gonna be an interesting one because we are looking at a CD player that looks like a record player. This should be interesting. You're not gonna wanna miss this. likely something that you've never seen before and until I saw the picture of it online I had never seen it before if you are a lover of vinyl and compact discs this might be right up your alley because essentially it's a CD player that looks like a record player portable retro CD player all in one on the side foil stamping is on point infrared remote control as remote controls often are built-in stereo I'm assuming speakers Vintage wooden grain or wood grain case, 2500 milliamp hour battery and knob adjustment. Over here we've got record mode. Does it record to disc or maybe USB? Bluetooth mode, headphone mode, MP3 mode, USB mode. On the back here, I like this. Security tips. This is an electronic product. Blah, 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 blah. I also like warm reminder, don't break copyright, it's not our fault. We have brown, apparently it comes in white as well. Let's see what we got. I am intrigued. All right, we've got some closed cell foam in here and the product itself. Looks like it's got a dust cover just like a real record player and that dust cover has sort of that cling wrap just like a real record player would. I definitely would not consider myself too good for a little bit of novelty. So if it's cool and it's functional, I'm all for it. I remember this from their other products that we reviewed. Unhappy, <laughs> you feel. Don't worry, baby. You have our words. Happy for this purchase. If you don't know how to express your newfound joy, we've got a few suggestions. Leave a good review. All that good stuff. Here is the manual. It's just a little piece of paper, we got a remote control. Gotta love these button cell remote controls. Yeah. So it's interesting, I wonder if all of the function, the functionality is in the device and on the remote or only on the remote? Like, do you have to have the remote? Let's go ahead and pull out that little protector there and activate the button cell battery. Next, we've got a USB cord. Will it be C? Will it be micro? And it is USB-C. So that's good. And there's this. Oh, that's the power brick. Interesting. This, have you ever seen this like super soft plastic wrap that some companies use for their products? Kind of looks like an Apple one, but it's not. It's like a frosted surface here. This is a 5 volt, 2 amp power supply and that's it okay and the device itself let's go ahead and remove the cling wrap protector for the dust cover i mean i guess it is a dust cover it really is before we open that let's uh take a little cursory tour here so i can't i was thinking initially that was plastic but that might actually be if like a a board material with a laminate because it really does look like it's got a laminate uh, little metal speaker grills. Those look to be about a two inch speaker, maybe one and three quarters. A little indicator light right there. The little cutout, just like a, you know, a record player might have. On the bottom, more of the laminate. And we've got foam stickers acting as feet. On this side, we have nothing. Curved corners are, are nice. And on the back, so the five volt power supply, an aux in an output and USB. So I'm guessing the record capability is from CD to USB. The remote will probably give us a clue there or not. I thought I'd see a record button, but I do not. So it looks like transport controls for playback. It's possible they have multiple functions. Yeah, okay, that's about it. So let's go ahead and open. It's so weird. It's so bizarre because used to be back in the day, 
that a CD player, you would want the CD to be tucked away out of sight. And now a lot of these novelty players are making it so you can see the disc spin, you know, it's exposed, especially those goofy ones with the pull chain. I don't really care for those. But here we go. So, I mean, I guess this would be considered the plant. This is plastic. This is going to be plastic too. I well, yeah, I take that back. That feels cold to the touch. So this might actually be an aluminum piece. Same thing with this knob here. This is a piece of card just to protect the mechanism so it doesn't... Um, whoa. I almost ripped out a ribbon cable thinking it was a piece of cardboard. <laughs> and I heard something pop. Okay. That's not good. That totally looked like a piece of card that I was supposed to rip out of there. Oh man, I hope I didn't ruin it. Oh snap. Oh, that, oh, that's not good. Okay, that's a ribbon cable, friends. That's not a piece of, I thought it was a piece of cardboard to hold it, to hold the mechanism in place. By the way, check out how big that is. That opening right there is just massive. Also notice that this is actually raised up off of here a little bit. Very interesting. And also notice that this opening is kind of at an angle. It's not even perfectly straight there. So, okay. Um, gosh, I hope I didn't break it. We'll find out in a minute. Doesn't that look like something you should rip out of there? Or is it just me? I didn't even, and then I saw the back side. I was like, oh, that's a ribbon cable. Be careful. Be careful. For a CD, I'm going to use this disc. I don't think I've featured this on the channel yet. If you're a fan of big band music, I've been sort of on a big band Glenn Miller kick lately. This is a local Denver band from back in Colorado. This is Dean Bushnell's orchestra. Dean Bushnell was a big name in the big band scene back in Denver and still, as far as I know, has a band that's performing. And um, yeah, I got to know some of these guys and this is a CD, sort of a greatest hits one, locally produced, locally recorded. And um, yeah, very, very cool. It is, it's got a nice screen printed cover. Although if you look on the bottom, it's green. So it's a burned disc, but it is what it is. We can, um, it is in the CD format. It's not an MP3 disc. So it'll be a good test for that. Um, but yeah, Dean Bushnell. And interesting history, if you are interested, you go online, you will see that uh, at one time they gave a concert on the top of a gas station roof. Some local lore. Okay, I am going to plug this in to begin our journey. Okay, we've got power down there, a little red LED. Man, I hope I didn't break it by doing that. I did feel something snap when I pulled that. I think it was just the ribbon cable pulling out of the receptacle. So hoping that it went back. Um, okay, do I push this button? Press and hold this button. Nothing seems to happen when I do that. Okay, now there's a little LED behind the knob there. Let me try the... This might be where it goes south. We got power. This is a digital knob, by the way. It just turns indefinitely in either direction. Press and hold for power. You Even if that ribbon cable did get damaged, it should still turn on. There's no switch back here, is there? It's getting power, which is always a good thing. Maybe the green button? Okay, time to check the manual. Okay, so... I learned a little bit, which is always a good thing. Um, it's not just powered by the power supply. It's actually a portable battery operated unit. And I'm thinking, especially because the light is right on the back, that it's just got a drained battery. It's common. You know, some, they, there's rules and laws about batteries being shipped and they have to have low power levels. It can't be fully charged. And then if it sits in a warehouse for a period of time, oftentimes it'll fully deplete. So what I'm gonna have to do is let this charge for a couple hours. In the meantime, I did want to look at this. Um, portable retro CD player, the X100, plastic wood grain material. So maybe it is a plastic uh, construct to begin with. I'm intrigued by the supported format, CDR, CD, RW, VCD, and DVD. So can this really play DVD audio? I'll be curious, MP3, WMA, Infrared remote control. That's weird. That's not really a format. Um, I also want to point this out. 
This is not a tone arm. It's the Sing Pole, aka Power Switch. Oh, wait a minute. Power Switch? Maybe that's what I should have been trying this whole time. I thought that was like the play. Okay, so that just slides out. There's, oh, I heard something. Oh, that does turn it on. Hey, it is singing. The sing pole is singing. You know, a lot would be accomplished if I would just read the manual beforehand, but isn't it fun just to experience it? This is more like what people do, right? Okay, so apparently what I do to turn it on, this is the on and off switch. And because it's a mechanical switch, it would explain why this doesn't do anything. So this must be like a standby. I thought this was just gonna be a play pause type of thing. So the stylus is non-existent. It's just flat on the bottom there. So that being said, it does scoot pretty closely over the top of the disc. Got a little chime and then it spins up the disc. And three, two, one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and there it goes. And I guess we just turn the volume up here. If you never knew, discs, um, CDs actually read from the inside out. Let me go ahead and turn on the front facing mic. Skipping tracks. This is volume. My man who could ask for anything more. Old man from trouble. I don't mind him. You won't. And then it stops. It's such a weird thing to do, but I guess it works. Okay, it just came back to life there. Now it's spinning back up. No? Oh yes, okay. Thought we thought we were going and then it stopped and then it started again. Now we are full speed. So it starts from the beginning. Let's skip forward a few tracks. So it's a very interesting device. The arm does not track. And like I said, CDs start from the inside out, so it would start there and move towards the outside. Some records actually do that too. But no, this is a two position switch. It's either off or on. So yeah, let's go ahead and try out this DVD feature. I'm actually kind of curious if it'll play a DVD. It should be noted as well that the sound quality from these two speakers, eh, it's kind of small and thin. Not that exciting. Okay, so we know it can play a burned CD, which if you don't know, basically uh, a laser activates a dye uh, in the substrate of the disc, changing its ability to reflect light, et cetera, et cetera. Different than the technology of a pressed disc. So um, if your CD is silver on the bottom, it is going to be a pressed CD, similar to the way a vinyl record is pressed. So we're going to try that before we get to the DVD. This is a CD, a pressed CD. If it played this, then it'll play this. But, you know, for completeness sake, you know, I'm going to skip over the Bluetooth stuff because I don't think reviewing Bluetooth is that exciting. But I, I do want to, you know, explore its physical capabilities in terms of playing stuff. But this thing will act as a Bluetooth speaker and it will transmit Bluetooth audio out as well. So let's go ahead and verify it can play a CD, which it can, and it should. I don't have the uh, front mic on anymore, so it's not going to sound as direct as it was. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's what I would expect. It feels wrong uh, to grab it because your finger does touch the spinning disc, and then there's no brake mechanism on the disc, so you have to wait for it to stop or go like that, which also feels wrong, so... That's that. I remember this stuff. It's like old Jack Teagard and stuff. 
On the remote, by the way, it, you'll notice so you can volume up, volume down, forward and back, skip, transport controls, uh, direct access to the first nine tracks, plus a hundred plus button. So a CD cannot have more than 99 tracks on it. That's part of the Redbook standard. So I'm not sure what the 100 plus would do. Maybe for an MP3 disc. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, anyhow, let's go ahead and stop this and we'll put on a DVD. So if you are a child of the 90s, I have, I've said I'm a child of the 80s, of the 90s. I was born in the 70s, came to age in the 80s, and uh, my teenage years were in the 90s. Anyway, this is Hey Dude, and uh, boy, this was a very nostalgic find for me. I used to love this show. My favorite, and I've got the uh, complete series. I don't have a whole lot of complete series on DVD or Blu-ray, but this is one of them. I got Star Trek series, uh, the original series, Next Generation. I've got Home Improvement, which is probably my all-time favorite show, and I've got this. So this is a pretty simple pressed DVD. It's not a burned disc. There's not a crazy fancy menu system. So if this can play DVDs, this should this should be the one. So let's see what happens. I'll be curious because I don't think I have any optical disc players that can play a DVD. Let's make some interesting noises. By the way, I'm glad that my uh, messing with the ribbon cable was not detrimental to this thing working. It does take a minute to queue up, though. It seems a little slower than other CD players. The wow, that's cool. No, 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 no. More More I'm impressed. That is cool. That is cool. So when I'm making copies for my own use of uh, movie audio, this would be very helpful. Because I could, and then apparently it can record as well. All right. This is, uh, now I'm starting to get excited about this thing. Okay, I'm kind of bummed because I just spent some time with the manual and I found out a couple of things. First of all, this thing does not record. There's At least there's no mention of it in the manual. Now, that wouldn't be the first time I've had a manual that doesn't describe the function that the equipment has. But remember, this says somewhere record mode record mode and how would you achieve that on this thing there's so a mode record mode i don't know how that would happen like can you record onto a blank disc i don't think you can um also it's a bluetooth receiver only so you can hook up your phone to this and use it as a bluetooth speaker so it does not transmit i initially thought it might transmit but that is not the case. Um, I want to switch modes now uh, to USB. I've got my handy dandy Lexar one gig. <laughs> That's how old this is. USB stick. Now this is a cool one because it actually has a little LCD display that used to show, you know, like a scale of how full it was. That has since stopped working. Um, that being said, it still works as a, as a drive. So. Um, there's two audio files on here. There's an mp3 file, which is some man on the street stuff uh, that I recorded off of a record. And then there's a wave file that's some music. And so if we hear, we'll be able to tell what we hear. And it says that it prefers mp3 and that if the root, the song should be in the root folder. So that's what it said in the manual. Let's go ahead and... Hit the mode switch and see what happens. So this is not a light. This must be just the infrared receiver down here. It would be nice if there was a status light. Okay, so I can tell it's got power. Again, this power switch just doesn't seem to do anything. Let me make sure I'm pointing it at the front. Yeah, mode switch. But the remote does, the transport controls work. So it's almost like they have this remote that's like partially functional for, and it doesn't use all of these features. Not the slickest thing I've ever seen, but how do we switch modes? Okay, it says to switch modes, you either push the mode button or you long press this for three seconds. One, two, three. Or you stick the USB stick in while a CD is playing. Do I have to hit play? Maybe I just need to hit play. 
it's kind of hard to understand what's happening at any given time. I guess there's nothing to see back here. So long press, one, two, three. Do I have to have this on? Maybe this has to be on. Maybe this is like an on and off USB switch. Mode. Okay. Okay. So that's, this is an on and off switch for the device. This is not just for the CD. You have to have the arm on, even if there's no disc. So that was the, that was the MP3. And now I'm gonna to skip to the wave. And it starts off softly. I should have picked a song that, you know, started loudly, but this one doesn't. Okay, so it does play waves as well. It took me a hot minute to get it to play. I was pushing play and skip and play and skip, but I did get it to work. That's good. Okay, so we verified that. And what else is there? Like I said, the Bluetooth, I've sort of stopped reviewing pure Bluetooth functionality because it's just so boring to watch. The video is long enough as it is. So um, yeah, you can hook up your phone to this and you can stream your phone's audio into this and it's not gonna sound any better than the CD will. Um, this jack on the back is a, uh, is a, vol is a uh, headphone jack. It's not a line level output. So if you plug in your headphones to the out, it should say headphone, not out. You can listen to it with that knob adjusting the volume there. So I made a heck of a mess here. So there is, it's a pretty basic CD player when it comes right down to it in terms of functionality. There is like a, a repeat button on here, but other than that, and I didn't even test that out, but other than that, there's no like programmable capabilities that I could find. Not that they're not there, but I have not found any yet. The interface is interesting. It's different. I like the fact that it's different. The speaker quality isn't the best. So in terms of a standalone way to play CDs, I don't think you would grab for this. The novelty factor is there if you want the look of a record player, but you just really love your CDs. The line output or the headphone output, you can obviously connect it to a sound system or to headphones and you know it'll sound fine over that. You can play your MP3s. I think my favorite feature of this is the fact that I can uh, play the audio only from DVDs. I think that that will be a reason for me to keep it around. So anyway, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, my friends, you know what? It's, there's nothing really wrong with it per se. I did wish it recorded. I thought it was a cool form factor. I like the fact it plays DVDs. So I'll put a link down below. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's more of a novelty, obviously, than anything, but it's interesting. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, but that's going to do it for today. So happy record hunting, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.